This is the standard operating procedure for the NMR. First, turn on the computer, locate the class icon, click on it. If a password is required, ask your instructor for assistance. If it is not already loaded, double click the Delta icon on the desktop. On the Delta screen, click the icon that looks like a magnet. A second window will appear labeled Spectrometer Control. Click the free ECX 400 text, then click the yellow connect button to connect to the machine. Once it has successfully connected, there will be a yellow bar that says connect and then the machine number. At the bottom of the spectrometer control, there will be six gray buttons. Click the one that states sample. This will open up a new window. To eject a sample that is currently not being run in the NMR, in the sample window, locate the green arrow pointing down with an L in it. If this bar is green above it, this indicates that the sample is loaded. To eject it, click the red up arrow with the E in it. This will eject the sample that is in the currently selected tube and turn green when it is finished. Once your sample has been loaded, go back to the spectrometer control window and click Auto at the bottom. This will open up the automation window. From here, you can enter your file name. Make sure it's something that you will be able to find later. Any comments that you wanted printed. And use the green arrows to change the slot number to the one your sample is loaded in. Or simply highlight the number and type it in. Select your solvent used for your sample. Typically, this will be the chloroform D. And select which methods you would like to run. Typically, you will only be running the proton and the carbon. For this period of instruction, I will be running the proton NMR because it runs much faster. To do so, click it once and it will automatically begin. This will bring up the automation queue. From here, you can see all samples that are in line to be run and the ones that are currently being run. The information in the automation queue will tell you what type of method is being run, on what slot, and then also the file name that it is saved as. The sample that is currently being run will be in green text. Although the Proton NMR does run faster than the carbon, it will still take several minutes to complete. Due to this, I have sped up the video. In the Delta window, in the green text, you can see all of the steps that the NMR is running on your sample. When it has completed, the file will be removed from the queue. And in the Delta window, you will see purple writing that tells you that the file was written to the C drive. This has automatically saved your sample and it should have printed. If you need to further analyze your data, in the Delta window, find the icon with the green and red line labeled Data Processor. Click it once and this will open up a new window. From here, locate the file under the name that you saved it, highlight it, and click the OK button. From here, you can see your peaks and you can zoom in on your data by highlighting the zoom and drawing a box around the area that you would like to zoom in on. As you can see, each peak corresponds with a number that is written vertically. If you have peaks that do not have numbers assigned to them, click on the zoom icon and go down to peak. You should see a horizontal green bar. From here, locate the icon at the top that looks like a peak with a horizontal bar through it. This will enable you to adjust the peak threshold. By moving it down, you are then able to select more peaks. Do so by clicking the icon with a diamond with a dot in the center, and then using this icon to click in the center of the peak. When you do so, you should see a number appear below it. For this example, the peak I clicked on already had a number below it, so the number that it placed next to it is the exact same number. To zoom out, click on the peak icon and select Zoom. Hold the cursor in the blank area and hit the backspace button. To reprint your data, use the Zoom button to select the area that you wish to print. Locate the icon at the top that looks like a printer. Click it once. The printer should be automatically selected and click OK. This will print your peaks and the numbers associated with them. To change the integration to a ratio of 1, locate the icon at the top 
with the white circle with the blue S next to it. This will auto peak pick and auto integrate your spectrum. As you can see, the red numbers located on your spectrum change to a ratio compared to one. This ends the standard operating procedure for the NMR.